Hello YouTube. Today for this video I thought I'd review this. It's the HP Chromebook 14Q031EA. So we'll jump right into this and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so this is the Chromebook. Um, we'll just take a wee look right around the outside. Um, let you see what's inside it and then we'll show you the specs and whatever else and then do my overall general review on it. Okay so this is what the Chromebook looks like from um, the outside just show you roughly what's on it. So as the front then as you can see there's nothing just show you open it up and then on this side then that's um, a USB port which is 2.0 um, as an SD card reader um, and then your uh, power jack. On the back then, um, there's nothing, it's just your hinge. So on this side then, you've got your security lock. Um, this is an HDMI port, and these are two uh, 3.0 USBs. And this is also a microphone in, and a headphone um, 3.5mm jack out. On the bottom then, you've got your two fans, um, and then these here, and then speakers. Um, with these wee, are just wee soft things, um, so whenever the laptop set down, then it gives a wee bit of room up off the um, off their um, surface and it also sort of just protects the bottom of it as well. Okay, so this is the Chromebook 14Q031EA opened up. As you can see, it's, it's quite a nifty wee thing. So it is whenever it's opened up. That's just your main keyboard, touchpad down there. As you can notice, there's no actual physical buttons. Um, this is all touch sensitive in your buttons, um, if you can hear. It's just you're clicking down there, but I'll review that later on. And that's a simple then, it's just a simple QWERTY keyboard and your screen, which we'll run over in the specs later on. And that's the laptop, as in from side on. So we'll go ahead and we'll show you what specs it is and what's running on the computer. Okay, so the thing's actually turned off, so we'll just start it up and we'll start the stopwatch just to see how long it actually takes to start up. So press it at the same time. So as you can see, 6.41 seconds. Um, because it's a Chromebook, you do have to log in to Google, so every single time um, you go on, you'll have to um, insert your password, which is what you use for your Google Chrome or your Google account. Sorry, um, you can also browse it as guest, add users if you've got multiple um, family members as well. So we'll just go ahead and we'll browse as a guest just so we can get into this. Now, we just got a wee warning coming up. Um, I'll just let you see that. You will get a wee warning coming up to send your. You're browsing as a guest and there'll be, there'll be no cookies um, or any history and anything like that sort of see whenever you shut it down so we'll just jump on to google.co.uk just type this in here just so you can see how quick it is so web address pushed in and we'll just press enter now so as you can see it is brave and quick we'll just surf to msn as i always think it's a good website to use a lot of content on it and as you can see it loads really 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 quick I've got absolutely no complaints about it at all okay so for the purpose of this test I'll just show you me closing this down and that's the laptop turned off as you can see now um, we'll just close the lid on it and we'll just as soon as you open it up the computer will build up basically itself as you can see within a couple of seconds from turn off has a complete shutdown um, but it's straight back up again within a matter of seconds so it's always on, it's always going, doesn't as far as I can see waste the battery on it they could say about between 9 and 10 hours battery life in this thing so it's perfect for the likes of college or university Okay, so this is the Chromebook on the main desktop screen. 
Um, once you're logged in as a user, obviously you'll have you'll see a bit more fewer features. Um, but basically, this is your standard screen. You can change your background and stuff, but if you click down here, um, which probably would normally be your start button on likes of um, Windows, um, you get your apps drawer come up. Um, obviously, if you log in when you have your own um, Google account, you will get a few more features like, like um, Google Drive and YouTube apps and whatever else. Because this is a guest, I'm only getting Chrome Store, which I can probably put on like my own apps and whatever else. For people that would use likes of Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft Excel, and everything else, Google actually has their own called Google Docs. Um, it's basically the exact same, exact same features and everything else. You can as well save them um, and open them up in likes of Microsoft Word if you end up changing computers. Um, but you can um, save it to Google Drive and you can go to anywhere around the world, access that file, um, edit anywhere and print it off from anywhere that you want. So just keep that in mind that basically when you do buy a Chromebook that you are in a sense only buying a browser. You're not buying a laptop which you can in a sense stick programs on or, or do that. You are in a sense just buying a browser. So as for viewing angles on this little laptop, that's the camera directly on the screen as you can see. And I'll just slowly move it around to the side and you can start to see it does start to go a bit black as you move it around. The brightness is turned right up. Um, so as you can see, just about there, sort of slightly, you really are starting to, to lose the side on screen. And then I'll just take the camera then straight up. So as you can see, it starts to be about there that you start to lose it. So it's not a bad wee screen, so it's not. I'm happy enough with it. So the thickness of this laptop, I know it's very, very hard to see, but it works out about 18.5 millimeters. And then at the back, I know it's really, really hard to see, but it's a maximum of about 21 mil. So as you can see, there's not really very much to it. And if you're wondering, just roughly the thickness of the screen, you're talking about four mil. There's absolutely nothing to this laptop. Absolutely nothing to it, as you can see. I only have one minor slight niggle about the Chromebooks, as we actually have another Chromebook as well that my mother got for Christmas. Um, the only thing is, all right, the, the touch pads are very, very sensitive, and no matter where you tap on it, you basically get your left click option. Now, I don't know if you can hear this, and then that's your right click. It can be a bit annoying, especially if you're trying to, to click, you know, and scroll down the side. It can get slightly wee bit annoying, but that's my only niggle about this laptop. It's just that there. I just wish Google had done as other people and put their standard buttons down here, or even made this, you know, slightly smaller and put your buttons in there. Or you want to try and keep everything the same. It looks neater, but you know, they're the same color and, and two different left and right click buttons. Everything would have been absolutely perfect. That's my only nickel with this laptop. So anyway, that is my review on this little bad boy. I hope it was thorough enough for you. So if you've got any questions, if your son or daughter is going to like university and you want to know anything else, then stick a comment down below and I'll be happy enough to answer that for you. And if not, then please subscribe to my channel. Um, I've already started doing um, videos, so more subscribers is always better. Until the next time, thanks for watching.